Hey you guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my February budget plan with me for you guys. And I have pretty much all of the stickers in here that I'm going to use that I pulled out. Um, sorry this video is going up a little bit later than what I wanted. It should be going up January 31st. I'm actually filming it January 31st. And it is 5.51 a.m. And I'm not lying in case you want to see. Um, yeah, I'm filming so early because I just didn't get a chance to film last night we went on a date night which was one of my resolutions and um and then by the time I got home I just like knocked out and I couldn't film earlier because I was waiting for two bills to tell me what the amount was owed and then also the due date because those two bills the due dates change every month for some reason and so of course the one bill didn't tell me until the 30th so anyways this is everything i'm using this is from scribble crunch co it's just like glitter like long flags i was thinking of putting one here this is from the petite planner this was i was in the winter yes the winter surprise box um it came with the gratitude so this was like the back of the stickers that came in the gratitude um journal i guess is what you call it so i just pulled that out because it was very pink and like heart so february i am using the conversation heart sticker sheet from erin condren i also have the rose gold um like monthly sticker sheet here also from erin condren because i thought the rose gold would be perfect for this month and then this was also in the uh the erin condren winter seasonal surprise box oh my god say that three times fast and this was like the random sticker sheet that was in the sticker book edition three, which I actually ended up getting that sticker book edition three. Um, if you watch my last Erin Condren haul that went up uh, last week, I think, then you would have seen that. So that's everything I think I'm going to use for the budget plan with me. Um, for the monthly though, you guys already know that, well, if you watch January, I do it very simple. And I actually made my own stickers right here on the sheet. Um, I actually thought I made these pink enough like because I couldn't find a sticker sheet to make it like pink pink like you know this color pink I really wanted it to like pop and be bright but um yeah I don't know why this page is dirty it's dirty also on January so I don't know what happened but um probably can't even see that on yeah I don't even think you guys can see that but oh well um what was I talking about oh yeah I wanted these stickers these colors to be brighter pink so I couldn't find like a bright bright pink like for a printable i used beautiful planning last month in january couldn't find a bright bright pink so i was like you know what i'll just make my own i already have most of the icons anyways because i used to do my own not like i never sold i never sold my own stickers but i used to just make my own before i got into printables and i really do want to put this like really pretty pink up here and it matches so well like this color like it's per oh you can't even see it's perfect i'm gonna have to make sure I move this around so you guys can see what I'm doing. But, um, oh, you know what I realized? Can I do it this way? I think mean, I'm going to do it this way because if I do it the other way, you're going to see. Oh, the same thing with this. You are going to see it. Well, hmm, I don't know if I'm going to do it now. Because you're going to see the, um, the flag. Because it's like a, not a deep flag. I have. Don't you love when you plan stuff out and then it doesn't happen the way you plan it? It's like, mm, story of my life. Now I have that song stuck in my head. You guys know that song? The story of my life, blah, 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 blah. I'm done singing because I can't. Yep, it's not going to work. Man, I thought these were going to work too, but I'm too picky. And if you're going to see a little bit of like this like there's no point in my opinion to put it down because if you're trying to cover it they're gonna see it anyways then why use it now, maybe i'll be able to use these for something else who knows we'll see so i'll just set them aside um okay so anyways yeah these i just did on my own um in silhouette studio so let's see um this is gonna be the fifth uh, these piggy banks I am putting down are, is for the 52 weeks saving challenge, which I did get a comment from someone, um, which I haven't, she said that she, when she did it, she like switched it up. That way you're not paying all like the bigger amounts towards the end of the year because the end of the year is Christmas if you celebrate. Um, so she did it as the first week 
how I did it. You know, you put for week one, one dollar, week two, two dollars. And then for the second week, she switched it so she would do 52, 51, 50, 49. So that way it's a little amount, a big amount, a little amount, a big amount. So I think I'm going to do that as well. Um, so we'll see how that works out. I mean, if I just want to try that for one week, then great. And if I don't like it, then I don't like it. But this is to mark the 52 week savings challenge. And then I'm going to go ahead and put down paydays for my husband and myself. If you did not watch the January budget plan with me, um, my husband and I, um, well, we both work full time, but we don't share in a, a bank account. We have separate bank accounts. So, um, his money is, well, we don't say that though. He doesn't like when I say your money is your money because, because I don't ever say my money is my money. I, I don't say that, but I don't know. He just doesn't like that saying. So, um, we have it as separate. We just, I don't know. And we pay our own bills separately. We just like it that way. It just, I don't know. It just works better for us. So we, we just like to do it that way. He pays certain bills. I pay certain bills. And if we need help, so if I need help paying a bill or he needs, or he needs help paying a bill, then we absolutely, we help. Or why am I getting confused? My, my, my paydays are changing. That's another reason why I waited so long to do this. Um, but anyways, yeah, we just do separate accounts. It works for us and we don't fight over money. So that is that. Now I'm going to put down the bills, but yeah, like I was saying, my paydays are changing. Um, I actually had a meeting about it at work yesterday. So the 30th and, um, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, I'm, well, I'm excited about it. We're now going to be bi-weekly. We, we normally are two times a month on the 15th and the last day of the month. Now we're going to be every other Friday and that starts March 16th and on February 28th, my pay is going to be different. They said I'm going to actually be one week less in my February 28th paycheck. So I don't know. My work said if we want a loan, they'll give us a loan that it's like interest free loan. We won't have to like pay it back until we quit the company. And then once we quit the company, we will have to pay them back what they gave us. It's an inter It's basically an interest free loan, but it's for people who think they'll need it because they're going to be a week short on the 28th paycheck. Because then after this 28th paycheck, I believe I wrote it down, I won't get paid until March 16th, which is kind of normal anyways, because we wouldn't get paid till the 15th, but I'll still be a week short in my pay. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, if I'm going to take that loan or not. A part of me doesn't want to, because um, not that I would use savings, but I, before I started budgeting, I would just kind of leave all my money in my checking account. I mean, I had a savings too. Um, so... I feel like I would have enough in my checking to like help me out like if I needed to. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, oh yeah, I also want to put this down for the 13th because I just don't like the deal of like taking this loan and then when I do leave the company, I'm going to have to pay it back. Like, I don't know. I don't like that because uh, then when I leave, like when I want my like all of my paycheck, I mean, I know they're not going to take all my paycheck, but they will take some of it. So I don't know how I feel about that yet. I'm still like debating that. But OK, so this is my monthly and this is basically all that I'm going to do. On the side, I am going to write down all of the expenses or extra expenses I could be having for February. For instance, I would probably write T-Ball because I registered her last month and I'm going to have to buy all of her uniforms. And her first game is this month in February. Well, it's January right now, but anyways, her first game is in February, so I'm going to have to write that down. It's Valentine's Day, also my birthday. We're planning on going to Disneyland, so just like expenses that we're going to be having for the month, I want to write them on the side just to like kind of prepare for. Um, and then, oh, this is the credit score sticker. Um, this is a sticker that I made myself, and I just like to track my credit score every month because I think it's really important to do. So that is this page, pretty basic. So moving on to this page with all of my post-it notes. Um, I basically am having the same setup that I had last month. I feel like it's going to take a while for me to like fully grasp and get a, a handle on how I want everything to be because this is my first time really ever doing a budget and creating a budget. And then also it's just, it's just, um, I don't know. I feel like it's all about figuring things out and I also think things are constantly changing, so I feel like you can never be like set in stone on something. Like, you might have to like constantly replan and rebudget. I don't know. Um, for over here, I'm going to be doing cash envelopes. I have five categories. The categories are going to stay the same. 
I budgeted last month um, $700 for cash envelopes. This month, I am not going to do that. I budgeted for $650, so not that much of a difference. But I also didn't really fully use the categories last month. Um, because we did go on vacation, I was like, okay, so for instance, like if we ate out at Whataburger, I'm like, do I want to put Whataburger for the eat out? But I ended up not calculating my expenses for when we went to Texas for a vacation, just because I was like, you know what? Um, I want to kind of know how much we spent total on Texas. So I just made a graph where I did the sinking funds graph and I calculated everything over there. So I can just show you guys real quick. It doesn't really matter. Um, so this was the sinking funds and this is what I did for the vacation. I don't know if you need to see it straight on. So I literally wrote down, this is everything I paid for, not what my husband paid for. I wrote like the date and then I put like the V was for my visa. The dollar sign was for like my debit account. And then like the A is from American Express. So that's what I did. Um, so I didn't put any of these totals into the cash envelopes. I just kind of wanted it separate. Um, so I don't know. My cash envelopes didn't like the categories didn't really get utilized. I feel like, um, for the month of January because of vacation and stuff. So hopefully in February I get to use them. We're not going on vacation. I wish I do almost have two weeks off though in February, but my husband, he doesn't get paid vacation. So that whole time he was gone in Texas, you know, he didn't get paid for. So he was like, I know it's your birthday. I want to, <laughs> I want to go on vacation with you. Like go, us go somewhere fun. He's like, but I need to get paid. I need to get caught back up and which I totally understand. So I'm like, yeah, that probably is more important. So, um, I'm just putting down these little stickers. These are from the like Erin Condren rose gold sheet here. And I'm going to put, these are from Beautiful Planning, they're $2 Tuesdays, um, down these little, like, character stickers. So this one is for grocery. I'm just going to try to put them in the center here. This is obviously not required or mandatory or it's just what I want to do, personal preference. I just think it's cute. I like to do decorative planning. And so I just, I don't know, I just like it. I think it's cute. So the, the little unicorn eating the pizza is for eating out. Um, I have a little sloth holding a heart that is for family time. I have a little sloth in a bathtub and that is for me time, which I didn't do any me time in January, but it's okay. And then the little unicorn, like throwing money right here is just for like miscellaneous, which I had a lot of miscellaneous things happen. In January, which wasn't fun. And then, um, where is my Sharpie? I went out and bought the Sharpies. Here they are. The Ultra Fine Point Black Sharpie Pen. Because I wanted one last month and I didn't have one. So I was like, I'm going to have to go out and buy that. So I'm just going to write down my categories here. And then how much I'm going to put for each cash envelope. Okay, so I have my cash envelopes filled out here. So grocery, I put 350 Eating out, I put 100 Family time 100, me time 50, miscellaneous 50. So total would be 650. And then for my cash envelopes, I'm not actually gonna take the cash out. I'm just gonna do it electronically with my debit card is what I plan on doing. Um, and like I said, this is my first time ever doing budgeting, sinking funds, cash envelopes. So I'm doing it all at once. And um, I don't know if these numbers are gonna work. Um, and so last month, I didn't really like utilize it as much because of like being on vacation and things like that. So we'll see how good, hopefully I'll be able to figure this out, but, but we are going to Disney and it is Valentine's day. So I feel like when you have a birthday, especially like my birthday is February, my daughter's birthday is January. Those are like major, like our personal family between like my husband and I, like our personal family unit, like birthdays. So I feel like, I don't know if that making sense. You kind of spend a little more, do a little more versus like someone else's birthday. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope that doesn't also sound bad by saying that, but I feel like it's true. You're going to go more out for like your child versus like someone else, I feel like, or yourself versus, so well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe I sound like selfish, <laughs> but I'm just saying. But anyways, so maybe March, it will be like a better month because we don't have any birthdays in March. Um, and then like no major holiday, well, St. Patrick's Day, but we don't celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So I don't know. 
maybe that will like be a little bit of a better like judge to kind of know but we'll see so anyways but for now hopefully this all works okay I'm trying to remember what I wanted to do because I remember I had like when I got this I was like oh wait there's two of these but I wanted like three categories but I think I know I was going to use these anyways so I'm going to do an end coming section my end coming section is actually going to be a little bit different this month because um well I, in February we get a bonus so we I actually get two bonuses I get a bonus from the company as a whole and then my department also does a bonus so it's kind of nice I'll get paid twice plus those two paychecks that's another reason why I was thinking I don't need to take out that loan or not that I'm necessarily taking out a loan but I don't need to do that because we're also getting the bonus check this is crooked so I'm like well why would we want to take it if you have what I know then again um, people might need it for like their bills and such. I feel like I don't have a lot of bills, so that does help me. But anyways, so I'm going to just put this here with a little bit of space and now I'm just going to write like incoming right there for my incoming. And then this is a black pilot friction. I'm just going to write everything out. So for, I wonder if with this, I think I'm going to do my black Sharpie for this. So I don't have to, I should have wrote on my no, I'm scared to like flip this over. It's going to be easier, but my, I still haven't bought a new poster board. It's filthy and disgusting. So I'm just going to write incoming. So incoming. I hope you guys didn't see my head. And then I'm just going to put paycheck one. Paycheck two, I'm gonna put AdSense. AdSense is for YouTube. I don't get paid every month because um, YouTube has like a threshold thing. But anyways, I still wanna write it. And that way I can track too, like what months I got paid and what months I didn't. Um, and then I'm gonna put two more because I wanna break up my bonus so that way I know how much I get paid for each one. I don't know if that makes sense. So if I wanna look back on it, I could be like, okay, for profit sharing, I got paid this much. And then for SIP, I got paid this much. So I hope that makes sense. So that is that for that category or my incoming section. Um, so February at work is actually a pretty nice, <laughs> it's a nice month. And it's also my birthday month. So, and we get paid the bonus on February 14th. So that'll be nice too because it's right before our Disney, before we go to Disney. And with Disney, we're really not going to spend that much money. I don't think we are going to get a hotel um, and stay the night. But we typically don't spend more than like $75 on a hotel. Oh, I got the slice tool too, guys. So if you haven't watched my plan with me yet, or not my plan with me, my uh, haul video, then you would have seen I got undo. I got a bunch of goodies. So I'm excited. All right, y'all, that cut so ugly, so they must, I feel like they make that look a lot easier than what it is, because I had a hard time. I had to bust out the scissors, um, so it kind of cut a little shorter than what I wanted because I had to use my scissors to, like, fix it, but I guess we will be okay. Um, so then after that, I'm going to put down, oh, wait, I was going to break total. Hello? Oh, I can still fit it in. I just won't put a space. Where's my... So, yeah, I want to put a total. Jeez. This looks dirty. Why is my paper getting dirty? I bet you it's because of this nasty whiteboard. Okay, so I'm going to put total right there. And I really liked having the little asterisks that I had there. So I'm actually going to use these fun little like hearts because it's Valentine's Day. But I want to use the hearts that I, like have the faces because I don't know. I think it's cute. Plus they're rose gold. So I'm like, yes, even better. So I'm going to use. Well, this is really big though. I feel like I'm going to have to move it. It's okay. My camera died on me. And so I hope you guys saw all of this. But basically I put down the sticker for incoming. I wrote down my paychecks and the total and I put this really cute like rose gold heart to like 
so I can really see the total. I don't know if that makes sense. I like the idea of putting the stickers right there. Last month I put the asterisks. And I don't know, I just thought it was like kind of helpful to like really be like, bam, there's your total. So I like it. And then I put this down. Now I'm going on to outgoing. So um, yeah, I really hope you guys got to see all of that because I didn't realize my battery died until I just happened to like look up. So, all right, so putting this one down. I love the conversation hearts. They are so stinking cute to me. Valentine's Day is one of my favorite holidays, so I'm just like excited about all of it. So I'm just gonna write outgoing here. Okay. And then I need to write all of my categories. So it's going to be how did I do this last month? Let me check. Sorry, guys. All right, so last month I staggered these. I actually want to do that again because I like I like the way that looks. So I'm going to move this over. I'm just going to flip it this way so I can see properly. So let me put this down. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I don't know why I like that kind of like staggered look, but I do. So anyways, outgoing. So for that, where's that little thing? So it says total bills. So I'm going to write that out. Stick down, please. Okay, so my total bills, which I already know the total of that. Where's that envelope? Or envelope. Oh my God. Sticky note. So that for February is gonna be more than January. It's 772.04. Then I'm writing down my cash envelopes, which last month I noticed I wrote the full amount of 700, but I didn't really utilize all 700 of cash envelopes, if that makes sense. So I'm not gonna write that total amount again because this I want this to be like an actual total. I don't know if that makes sense, but so I'm just only going to write really how much I use for cash envelopes, if that makes sense. Um, and then the 52 week saving challenge. And then sinking funds. And I know 52 weeks and sinking funds is not really an outgoing because 52 weeks is savings. It's going to a savings account. Sinking funds is kind of savings until I need to pull it out, but eventually that money will go bye-bye. Um, but I still like to think of it as outgoing because it's not staying in my checking account. It's going to be leaving my checking account. So that's how I like to think of it because I don't know, it's the best way for me to like kind of think about it and process it. So, um, in case you guys are like, what, that's not really an outgoing, but that's just how my brain works, so I like to keep it like that. So miscellaneous, and then the last thing is going to be total. So I'm going to use another one of these hots. I'm going to use the, the kissing one because that's just cute. Okay, so I'm going to just put it down right here. And just write total. And then I will total all of these up and put it there for the end of the month. So that's my incoming, my outgoing. And then the last section is going to be like the savings area and kind of like where I total everything up at the bottom type of situation. So let's see. Mm, I don't want two spaces. I only want one space and that heart is up in my way. Hold on, y'all. Let me put this down first. Hopefully I do better with cutting this, this time with the slice tool, because I failed that last time, but I'm a novice, so I'll get a, the hang of it eventually. And I don't care if that overlaps a little bit. Okay, so let's try this again, and hopefully I do a better job. So that cut a lot better. It did cut shorter than what I wanted. What can I do? I'm just going to leave it. Um, so for the bottom section, I'm going to put savings. I wish I got three of those labels because then it would all match. But um, 
I will survive. I'm just going to use this little flag so at least it's the same color. And I'm just going to like, I think, put it on its side. And I'll just write savings. I mean, that's all I can do. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just do that. I can get this down somewhat straight. Okay, and then I will just take my Sharpie again, and I think this will be the last time I need my Sharpie. I will just put, save for my savings. And then um, I just have like a little kind of like list going down. So for savings, I'm just gonna write down the 52 week savings challenge because I am doing that and then I'm working on the Dave Ramsey baby step number one which is a thousand dollars in an emergency fund so I don't know how much money I am going to put into that every single month um, because honestly I mean and he says it too, like whatever you can do to put in it is what you put in it. There's like no deadline necessarily. So if I wanted to just put the money into it now, honestly, I could. Um, I was thinking about just doing that, but I think I'm going to just do it with um, when I get my bonus, just immediately put a thousand dollar in there and then I can go into baby step number two, which I don't have that memorized right now. So that's all I'm going to put for the savings section. Um because that's all I'm really kind of like saving for at the moment. And then I want to put this at the bottom. I really liked how I did this last. Actually, let me put this back here. That way I can write on it. So on this, I just want to write the incoming the minus the outgoing and then total it up. That way I know if I'm spending more than what I'm making. And then that little extra money, I guess, would be like savings money or whatever you want to do with it. Um, so last month I did kind of go over like 250. I'm okay though. I didn't bounce any checks. I, I'm good. I actually have money in my account. Like I said, I would kind of always just leave all my paychecks there. So in my checking account, just to leave them, I wouldn't really like filter them anywhere, you know, like cash envelopes or sinking funds, anything like that. So, um, I just had like a lot of expenses come up. I was helping, um, pay with some bills and stuff like that. So, um, like I said, my husband didn't get paid in January for like a good two weeks. So, um, bills that I normally wouldn't help pay for or pay for, I was helping, which is totally fine. I don't mind obviously paying for, um, those because, you know, he took the vacation. So just stuff like that. So anyways, so I'm going to do the incoming minus the outgoing. Let's try to do a straight line because last time that line was hella crooked and it was driving me bonkers. So there, and then that'll be my leftover. So, and my incoming should be way better than what my outgoing is going to be um, since I'm and getting my bonuses. So anyways, and I'm going to, what is that? I'm just going to put this right here. And I think that looks super cute. So I'm just going to put that right there. So that is like this section. So now we're going to move right over here. Um, and this is going to be my bills section. So yay bills. Not really. So for my bills, I just have four that I pay. Um, so the first one is due on the 15th. I hope on my head. Oh, you can't even see me. There we go. Okay. So the 15th then, and that is my capital one. And I owe $243.74. And then once I pay it off, I'm going to put a check mark in the circle and I'm in red. I'm going to put the day that I paid the bill, just so I know. Um, I liked how that worked out last month. So then on the 17th, I have my Amex. And that's going to be 185.37. And then on the 17th, I have Cox, which is my cable TV internet. That is 214.66. 
And then on the 19th of my birthday is my car insurance for our cars. And that's 128, 128.27. So like I said, in red, I will write next to the totals um, the day that I pay. And then I will check them off as I go on. So these are literally my only bills that I have at the moment. Um, in case you guys are wondering, if you didn't watch the last video, we live with my in-laws, so we don't pay rent or electricity um, or water, but we have been, the past couple of months, have, have been helping them with that. So um, I might start writing it down that we are giving money for it now, but I feel like every month they, um, they're asking for a different amount, so um, we'll see. So let's see, what heart do I want to use to put the total? I guess I will do the winking face. And then I'm just going to put that right like so. And then I'm going to put the total. And I've already totaled that up. Well, obviously, because it's right there. Can you guys still see? Okay. So total, and then that's going to be 772. Oh, four. And then for this section here, I actually did utilize it last month and I was putting miscellaneous things. So like for instance, my dog went to animal jail, which was awesome. So I had to pay all of these fees to get her out. I took her also to the groomers to get her like nails and anal glands done. So things like that I put over on like the miscellaneous side and it was just like a growing kind of like list, so to speak. So Anyways, that is basically how this page is going to look. I don't know about covering this up. I was actually looking to see what I could cover that up with. And there's really not much you can do about it. Okay, so this is how these two pages look. The cash envelopes, my incoming, outgoing savings, and then my total bills. And I'll put miscellaneous charges here. So this is what this page looks like. I really like it. I think it's super cute. So I'm happy with that. And then this is the monthly view. And then moving on to the dock grid. Now the dock grid is where I'm going to be putting my sinking funds. Um, I used the dock grid, as you guys saw, I showed in January for the Texas vacation tracking. I also think because my job used to, whenever we worked overtime, put money onto kind of like a debit, it was called a rewards card, but it was like a debit MasterCard. Um, so they're no longer doing that. We're now going to get our overtime money actually in our paychecks. Um, and that is starting February 24th. So I transferred all of that money onto the card because I just had the money just sitting where it sits, you know, I don't know how to explain it. So the money just went into my card. And so now I have that card, but I think I'm going to do is just track it here. And if I use it in February, obviously that'll like help, I guess, alleviate any really out of going cash because it's cash that I have, but it's not cash that's in my account. I don't know if that makes any sense. I kind of like not having the overtime go into my paycheck, but anyways, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. It's just, I'm just rambling now. So anyways, um, I think I'm going to also make a grid for that and track it. Um, I just haven't decided yet. So anyways, um, on to the grid part now for the sinking funds. And I think I'm just going to do that part off camera because I feel like it's going to take me forever because I'm so slow with like the tracing and stuff. So I will be right back once the grid is done. All right, so I have you guys zoomed in. I have my little chart. So these are the little categories here that I am doing my sinking funds for. If you're not sure what sinking funds are, basically um, the short version of it is it's not every monthly recurring expense. So it could be something that's happening once a year, like my Disney annual pass renewal happens once a year. Um, it could be like an HOA if you pay an HOA, if you have trash service fees that could be quarterly, like different bills that don't happen every single month that you need to plan for. So for example, I have my Disney annual pass, which is once a month, Black Friday X and Xmas, which is Christmas. That's once a year. I'm sorry. Disney annual pass once a year. I think I said once a month. Black Friday and Christmas is once a year. Birthdays. Well, that could happen, you know, it could be a birthday every single month, but I'm going to put money into it. So whenever a birthday happens, I can take cash from that sinking fund. Um, my car, I don't know when I'm going to have to pay for certain things for my cars, but you know, oil changes happen. You could need to get new tires. Worse things could happen. So I just have a little savings going for that vacation. I don't know how much I want to save for vacation, but I think my goal was a thousand. 
Um, and then my dog is Wiggles. And so like, for instance, I had to take her out of animal jail. I got her nails done. So things like that. So it's just putting money aside every month for a category. So that way, if something does happen that month, you're not scrambling to get all of the money. So, I mean, thankfully with Wiggles, I had the money to get her out of animal jail. But can you imagine if I didn't, if I was on a tight budget and I didn't have a sinking fund, like I would be hurting for that. So thankfully I was able to get her out, no problem, but it was just a very annoying expense because that's money I could have just had in my pocket versus that I had to pay. But anyways, things happen. So for my Disney annual pass, um, I wanna save 146 a month. So obviously I started my sinking fund last month in January. So the start of my sinking fund, since I've only put a deposit one time, so I have 146 as the start for my uh, Disney Pass. For Black Friday Christmas, I only have $46 to start. Birthdays, I have 25. Car is 42. Vacation is 84. And my dog Wiggles is 25. So total right now in my sinking funds is $368. So that's what I will actually be taking out of my paycheck every month to put into these categories, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm obviously going to add all of these numbers into my sinking fund. So I'm gonna add 146, 46, 25, 42, 84, and 25. So I'm gonna add those, or um, add, you know, the each amount into each category. The minus sign, so that minus sign is if I'm taking money out of the account, which I'm not doing. Um, and then the end balance is gonna be these totals. So I'm gonna have the 146 plus 146, and shoot, I only have, um, come on phone. Oh my bad, I only got like 6% on this battery, so let's make this look. So 146 times two, so I'm gonna have 292. And then 46 times two, I'm gonna have 92. Should have calculated this before, but then I'm gonna have 50. 42 times two is 84. 84 times two is 168. And then I'm gonna have 50. And then I wanna add all those up and that's gonna be the total number and with all of those. So 292 plus 92 plus 50 plus 84 plus 168 plus 50. So I'll have 736 total in my sinking funds once I put all of the money into the account. So I hope that makes sense and I'll turn it that way so you guys can see. Um, I guess I could have totaled these up too. That would be like another 368. I guess I'll do that. So that way it's 368, 368 and then it makes kind of sense. So then that big number plus that big number is the 736 are also the numbers here on the side. I don't know, I hope that makes sense. Um, but um, that's just kind of the sinking fund. I know Jen Plans, I think that's her name. She did like a sinking funds, like a part two video. So if you wanna check her out, just look her up on YouTube. But yeah, so that's basically everything. Let me zoom out now. Okay, so my February budget is done. So here it is, just the sinking funds on this page, but I might do that chart here, we'll see. But that's all I really utilize this page for. If you have any more ideas for this page, definitely comment down below and let me know. And then my monthly view, I went ahead and filled out. So I am gonna try to do one week the small amount, the second week the large amount, so kind of going like forwards and backwards at the same time. So this would be 52, 51, 50, 49. So I just wrote 52, like obviously I wrote that, and then I wrote the total each week that I would have. So if I do $52 plus the 15 from last week, I would have 67, and then so forth and so forth. And then over here, I did write some of the things to be um, prepared for for expenses. So Valentine's, T-Ball, my birthday, and Disneyland. So I wrote that over there. And then on this page here, nothing for cash envelopes because I haven't spent money yet for February. I did realize I forgot to put the gold February, if you guys can see that, oh, so pretty. I forgot to put that down, so I put that down. And then, did I fill anything out? Oh, I did, I filled out just this section right here. I'll kind of like show you guys. So, um, I put the 202 for the 52 weeks because if I do 50, or 52, 51, 50, et cetera, oh, that's peeling up. Um, that's what it would be for that week I would have to take out of my check. So 202 to put into the 52 weeks, and I filled in the 368 for the sinking funds because that's not gonna change. So cash envelopes and miscellaneous, will be the two, I guess, 
really deciding factors on what's going to happen with my outgoing expenses. And then, yeah. So, oh, and I added two little hearts here because I had like these rose gold hearts and I was like, that would be cute. I felt like it needed something on that side. So I did that too. So that is everything for my February budget plan with me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and it was helpful. If you do have any great ideas or tips for me, please leave them down below because I do utilize them. I do take them. Well, I'll utilize them if they work for me, but I do appreciate all of those. So if you have any comments or questions, also leave those down below. I will definitely respond to you guys. But if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you want to watch my January budget plan with me, I will have that linked in the description. It will also be in the iCards. But I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.